Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. So we are going to random again, and we will get Isaac for like the 8th time out of 10. I'm starting to wonder how random exactly this random button is, but in any case, I am not going to complain, because obviously he's my favorite character. So if you didn't see the last video, there was a pretty substantial gaff in that one. I know it's going to take several of you by surprise. Uh, however, basically what happened is my brain has been trained through, you know, a year now of Isaac play. I was going to say competitive Isaac play, who am I kidding? Uh, yeah, we'll go with Poison Touch, why the heck not. Um, through a year of Isaac play to basically be like, okay, we got like six floors before we have to worry going into the mom boss fight, which will of course cause us to have problems because we can't exit the entire floor. What I'm trying to say basically is that on the last one, I got three XL floors in a row, so I just like bum rushed the boss on the last one and then was like, oh right, I can't actually exit now to go get the two treasures that I missed here. Might have been what ended up killing us, but we still almost managed to beat Isaac. Uh, on the cathedral, pretty much just due to the uh, power of mom's knife. So I will accept that as actually probably one of the most fun runs that I've had recently. Please, famine. Yes, thank you. Grandfather fly down here doesn't bug me so much. This is a terrible first floor though. Poison touch plus um, cube of meat is not going to really give us a base for what we need to progress moving forwards. But it's alright, I guess. It's it's okay in its own right. You know, Poison Touch is going to make it so that if any enemy hits us, he's going to get an equivalent damage, perhaps even more damage done to itself. Although, you know, how do you judge enemy hearts versus Isaac hearts? Because obviously Isaac hearts are a lot more valuable to me than enemy hearts are. Presumably, I should take less damage than the enemies we face, unless something has gone horribly, horribly wrong. I'm just going to keep this up. Easy fight. That'll be the end of this floor, although I will... Do some exploration, just to see, you never know, maybe we'll come across uh, more keys, more bombs, I would welcome either of them, more money as well would be okay. Could look for the secret room if we get more bombs, it's, uh, there's two possible locations for it now, so let's hope judgment pays out here. Come on, buddy. Come on, don't do me dirty like this. Oh, that hurts. Oh, well, on the bright side, we do have Wrath. I mean, it's weird to think about a mini-boss being on the bright side, but absolutely, this is something that can, can benefit us moving forward. So what could we possibly get out of this? Well, the big thing would be if he dropped Mr. Boom or Mr. Mega or something like that, because then that would allow us, if he could actually choose a path to stay on here, that would allow us to re-roll that and possibly pick up some bitchin' item. Because, you know, I don't really want to stick with Mr. Mega right now, or Mr. Boom which is a pretty bad spacebar item in my professional opinion here. So, there we go. We got three more bombs. That means Secret Room is uh, not necessarily an inevitability, but definitely something that we can look for. Again, hoping to find like a one-up that perhaps I can re-roll and turn that re-roll into something beautiful. Like a uh, fetus in a jar or something, or an epic fetus. Either of those I would definitely welcome at this point. So we'll see what we got in our... No? Well, I guess we'll just head down to the next floor then. That is disappointing. I could blow up Judgment, but I don't think that is a wise use of company resources right now, so we will just head down to the next floor. Cellar Part 2. And you can't catch a break. Wanted some basement action, but sadly not. It is not in the cards for us right now. I hate when these guys get a little bit segmented, so they stop jumping in unison. Like, when they jump in unison, it's okay, because you can choose, like, when to make your moves. But when they're all jumping at different times, it can be a little bit more difficult. Certainly, this is worth what we got here. Chestception gives us bomb and set, so we're already in the money. And two of spades is going to double our keys. So we'll save this until we have a few more keys. Do we want to reroll Tough Love? Well, yes, I'll reroll that and get the bomb bag, which is okay. Uh, at least our bomb problems are probably not going to, you know trouble us too much anymore. I'm gonna save that spirit. I'm trying to play with a little bit more, uh, you know, like 2010, I, oh god damn it. I can't believe I didn't take damage there. Uh, 2010, either, 2010, 2011 Isaac style. So what this means is I'm gonna, you know, save spirit hearts until I've absolutely, you know, exhausted all my opportunities on the floor so that I know that there's no chance for me to get hit and then I can take them down to the next floor rather than picking it up right now and just losing it by the time we get to the boss fight anyway. Now this will all go out the window if I get a speed down, because that will make backtracking not impossible, but incredibly tedious for me. And tedium is one thing in this game that I do not deal very well with. One on a very long list of things in this game I don't deal very well with. So let's check what we've got on the far right over here. Well, just our boss room. And full health for us. 
And we could again look for the secret room, but uh, one bomb for one key is a good trade in this situation. And we found the secret room anyway by accident. Perfect. And we get Unicorn Horn. This is a confusing situation for me. Here's what I'm thinking. We will fight the boss. If we need to use the reroll for the boss, we will. If we don't, we'll come back here and we'll reroll Unicorn Horn. I think it's worth a bomb to uh, to see if we can get something better. Unicorn Horn is not bad, but I definitely do not want to get rid of uh, my D6 this early in the game for something that is not like game breaking. Like, oh, yeah, damn, that was a great throw or a great shot by uh, by Pin there. Like, if we can get the best face bar item in the game, if we got Shears or something right now, then I would probably be up for, uh, you know, trading my D6 for it. But since we're only dealing with Unicorn Horn, I think we can probably do better later. Similarly, Nail would be another example. Okay, so we're not going to reroll the Pentagram. That's a great item. We're obviously going to get a health upgrade here. Uh, we'll go get our Spirit Heart in a second, but first let's reroll the Unicorn Horn, see if maybe we get something amazing here. We get one up. Okay, well, we'll take it. You never know when this might come in handy. Uh, in... Actually, that run has not gone up yet, and that is part of the secret project, so I'm going to refrain from saying what I was about to say. And instead, we're just going to go back here and pick up the Spirit Heart. My guy's looking pretty sickly. He looks like a straight-up demon right now, which I guess is what we're going for. Uh, but Pentagram, definitely a good item, and I'm not going to complain about getting that HP upgrade, basically, by way of the Eternal Heart as well. Always nice when the boss drops Eternal Hearts, because you're like, oh, I can definitely just pick this up and go down to the next floor. There's, like, no risk of me losing this at all. So that all worked out pretty well. Turned a Unicorn Horn into a 1-up, got a damage upgrade. Not sure if uh, the Pentagram also gives you other stat upgrades. Because it doesn't change the color of your tears, apparently. Which usually is my indicator of, of how much damage up we've gotten. But then I got a Twitter mention the other day that was like, damage, or uh, the color of your shots doesn't mean anything. Which I don't think is 100% true, but it might be true for certain items, I guess. Like maybe Pentagram gives you the damage upgrade without giving you the red tears. I don't know. All I know is when I play as Samson or Judas, my tears get red when I'm super enraged or I use Book of Belial. So that's my ent the entirety of my experience right there. I mean, there are like 200 videos of that, but still. More bombs, excellent, by way of the bomb bag. This is great because we can always trade our bombs for keys. So, we'll try to take out these conga lines without putting ourselves in too much danger. We are- I, I feel like we pack a heavier punch than we used to. It's not like mom's knife damage, at least not yet, but we're, we're getting there. We're getting to a good spot. So, I'm just gonna take out these neutral flies, or at least one of the neutral flies, so I don't have to deal with him in a second. And then... Oh, come on, conga line. Don't be an asshole about it. Finally. Uh, then we're just gonna go fight the boss over here, because why the heck not? This guy is pretty quick. That could be a problem for us. Yes, that could be a substantial problem for us, actually. There we go. Uh, okay, so first things first, deal with the devil. Krampus, okay. So we could reroll Lump of Coal. What do we have from... We have speed up from the other room. This is a weird situation, because I, I don't really want Lump of Coal. But I definitely do not really want the speed upgrade, either. Well, well, let's just see if I survive this fucking Krampus fight. This is proving to be more difficult than maybe some people would have expected. It's been a while since I fought Krampus, actually. He's one of those dudes I expect to fight him constantly. But in the end, he doesn't actually show up as often as I would like. Let's say maybe, you know, once every three... Once every two, once every three runs, maybe? I used to estimate him at, like, once every three deals with the devil, but I've been getting less deals with the devil lately, because I think I've been... Oh, god damn it. I've been playing worse than usual. Ever since I got Platinum God, I've been kind of in a slump, but, you know, that's okay. You can afford to become slumping after you become a champion, to a certain extent, I guess. So, let's just stand in the middle here. Oh my god, how did that actually tag me? Are you kidding me? Maybe I do need that speed upgrade. So let's let's go for the gold here. We're going to reroll Lump of Coal. Uh, see what we get here. Guppy's Tail. That's not great, but we'll take it. And we will uh, pick up the belt as well, so now we have some speed upgrades. And we desperately need some health, or we could find ourselves in a pretty terrible situation pretty darn soon. Guppy's Tail might be great, it's one of those things where we're, we're not totally sure about how we feel about it yet, because we need to get some more keys in order to make it worthwhile at all. But if we get like a ton of keys, if we get a skeleton key, 
uh, or anything along those lines, like a flat penny, we're gonna find ourselves probably enjoying this item a great deal. Plus, it's, you know, one theoretical step towards becoming the cat. I mean, it's unlikely that we're gonna do it, because we still need two more cat items at the very least. But still. Alright, so this is Daddy Longlegs. That's a great item. It's a passive mom's foot, basically. I haven't gotten that in a long time, but it's, it's an item that is capable of dealing some heavy, heavy damage. And I think it works more than once per room as well, which makes it, uh, you know, basically just fantastic. Item I really enjoy, so we'll get another key here. Sadly, no more opportunities for our D6 to recharge, and we do not have nearly enough money to go to the shop. Could look around for the secret room. In fact, will look around for the secret room, because you never know. I would almost welcome fighting greed at this point if I didn't die, because it would mean... Lucky me. Uh, we can get a D6 charge. Actually, this is fine too. Maybe we can get some spirit hearts out of this. Or at the very least, a trinket that hopefully is not uh, the tick. We shall see. We got a tarot card. Death. It's a good card. Uh, but we're going to stick with our two of spades. Because again, with Guppy's key... I'm going to blow this up, actually. We're going to get more bombs by way of our bomb bag anyway. More keys. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hold the two of spades because obviously the more keys that we have, when I use the two of spades, the more valuable that this card becomes. And with Guppy's Tail, the more keys that we get, the better off we're going to be. So, after all of that theoretical discussion, we are ready to head down to what I hope is Caves Part 2, because we've been doing all the harder floors here. Excellent. But we got Curse of Darkness to compensate for that. Well, not good dodging on my own part. Maybe Daddy Longlegs only works... No, he works more than once per room. Please save me. How am I supposed to dodge this? Wow, somehow made that happen, but, you know, there are a variety of enemies right now that could kill me in one hit, so... Including these guys. So I'm gonna just get the hell out of here. Thank god I got that speed upgrade. That might be what ends up saving me a little bit. Or, maybe not. I don't know, that was pretty close right there. Please just drop some red hearts. Why have I been getting so few red heart drops? No, 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 no. Oh my god, you've gotta be kidding me. Thank god we've got the one up. And we have to go through this whole room over again, my god. Alright, seriously, I was just about to, like, throw my microphone down. Well, that would be silly. It's on a stand right now. It would take more effort than it's worth. Ah, I should have... Okay, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say I should have used my two of spades before popping that open, but in any case... Yeah, thank god we had the one up there, because I was about to rage quit Isaac forever. Seriously, though, there's been so few red heart drops on this run. Compared to, you know, a standard run of Isaac, where there's way too many. Okay, so I'm just... Scared shitless here, basically. Thank you, Daddy Longlegs, for clearing out that room for me a little bit. And by using that 1-up, we didn't really lose anything except for the 1-up. So, problem solved there. Let's double our keys first. Pop this open. Ah, oh, of course, yes, now we have like two red hearts in that thing. Of course, that would make things too easy at this point. Um... We are going to just continue moving onwards here. I've totally forgotten which directions we've gone, but I guess this is a new one, so that's okay. Kind of hoping Daddy Longlegs would crush all three of them there, but maybe that's a little bit too much to ask. Well, never mind. I'm not going to complain about Daddy Longlegs. It's a great item. We got some problems there, but we worked it out. Not me and Daddy Longlegs. We're cool. Let's pop this. Oh, come on. <laughs> just Troll Bomb City here. So that was not a good use of a key, but that's alright. That happens from time to time. Check out what we got in here. Polyphemus! Yeah, we will not re-roll this. I love Polyphemus as an item. Definitely one of my favorites, if for no other reason than the fact that it creates a... Whoa. It creates a great base for, like, uh, other item combinations, like Brimstone, Polyphemus, etc., etc. I've mentioned these a hundred times, so I'm not going to go down that road again. Now, remember, there are red hearts that I could pick up, but I don't want to do those just yet. Because, you know, who knows? We might not need those. We might not have to do any backtracking in order to survive here. For example, we just get that red heart right there. And leave another one here just in case we want to come back a little bit later. So, Polyphemus in combination with Daddy Longlegs allows us to do pretty substantial amounts of damage here. We've got tons of bombs. And actually pretty good on the key front as well. Although, I, I was kind of hoping, like, once I got enough keys... I could keep myself in, like, key equilibrium. Sounds like the sequel to key bereftness. No, but key equilibrium. By getting more keys from these things. Let's reroll this and get Monstro's Tooth. That's shitty. Would have preferred the speed upgrade, to be honest with you. But that's okay. I guess in the end, all we missed out on is one speed upgrade. Because we are not going to get another D6 charge. Probably should have just gone with it. Oh, well. Shit happens, you know? So, Daddy Longlegs, if you could help me out here, because apparently I cannot hit these enemies for the life of me. Okay, so let's see who we've got as a boss. P. 
peep should not be an impossibility here. Yep, just just dodge straight into the eye as usual. For some reason, this boss fight, I don't know, it, it, sometimes it, it doesn't tick in my head or it doesn't, my brain can't figure out what the hell to dodge in order to make this possible. Like this eye, you can see this eye coming for me right now, but then as soon as he jumps, it's like I've got two things to worry about and my brain is like, I can't handle that shit. What is this, school? Uh, so we're gonna get range upgrade and we're gonna go down to the next floor. Cause I think we're done with this one. I'm fortunate that I'm leaving that open chest there with uh, an actual item. This is going to be Depths XL. Either that or my game is just totally frozen. Either way, you know, shit like that happens from time to time. Yeah, Curse of the Labyrinth. Necropolis style. Why not pop this open? Four cents. Well, if nothing else, it at least gives us... Oh, come on. The chance, I think, of possibly, if we get very lucky getting enough money to actually visit the shop once on this run. How do I have so little money? I, like, remember picking up money constantly. Maybe not constantly, but, you know, with decent frequency at least. So I've not done very well in this room so far, but presumably we will get some more red hearts from time to time. Man, these guys are quick. Come on, Daddy Long Legs. Hook me up here. Well, barely missed, but that's okay. Another golden chest, where we will get a compass, which I am not going to reroll at all. Even though I had the opportunity, and I did- oh right, it is an XL floor. And I was going to say, I didn't remember that, but I totally did remember that, because I would mentioned it as we got in here one room ago. So we got some flies hanging around us. We do know that our shop is going to be safe this time, because we have already- or we can see a mini boss on the map, and there's a secret room. So it's gotta be Greed in that room. Uh, I don't really want to fight Greed, so I'm not gonna. Instead, I'm gonna go this way, and oh my god, are you kidding me? Now I'm getting a little scared, because we're pretty low here. But I want to find our item rooms principally, and maybe some more money so that I can get the shop. Here's the, th here's the deal, if I had more health and there were more red heart drops, I could conceivably fight greed and maybe get 7 cents and use that 7 cents to go to the shop. I could also get the quarter or the steam sale or something. I, functionally, they're, they're the same thing for me right now. Um, but I could also fight greed and just die, which would be bad. I don't want to use two keys to open that golden chest. Just go into the spikes. Save me some trouble. Okay, well that didn't go so badly. We can get out of there. Probably my least favorite kind of room with the like four spikes that home in on you and the helmet dude who is just a pain in the ass all the time. So Daddy Longlegs doing a good job right now of, of aggravating the shit out of me. There we go. First crack that he took was at the turret in the center. Which is silly. So and he took another one just a second ago. Come on. There we go. Oh, almost dodged directly into that shot. We're back to nearly full health. We're nearly at 15 cents as well. So, I mean, there's positives to, to take from this right now. God damn it. Never mind. Now I'm down to half health. Hopefully some red hearts, please. Well, you know. We got some money, at least. Let's see what we get in the item room here. Mom's Bra is a reroll. D20 is possibly really good. But we'll try to charge our D6 first, because D20 is already charged. Who knows, maybe we can use that. Just come over here, Greedheads. Jump into the... Jump into the spikes. It, it'll be fun. Or Daddy Longlegs could, at any moment now, pop down and, and actually hit one of these Greedheads. That would be cool. Oh, there we go. Ah, he's almost dead. Some comical dodging here. There we go. So we will use a bomb here. We'll see what we get in this chest. If it's hearts, I'm not going to reroll it. Uh, so here's, uh, I want this though. I want the key. Oh, uh, well, I might as well just pick it all up at this point. Oh, <sighs> some confusing. Okay, here's the thing. We could get a lot of money uh, dropped on this room if we got hit by those greed heads. And then we could D20 it, but I'm scared about losing all that health. This is an interesting floor, to say the least. Unicorn Horn is here again, so we're going to get ready for a reroll on that. And you know what? Oh, it's not worth, it's so not worth two keys to open that golden shit. Oh my god. I just want to use the D20 to get back to full health. I'm actually worried about this mom boss fight. 
Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. He, like, hit a rock on his way, and that hurt me. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We have to do this. I, w I wish we didn't. Uh, actually, we can do it this way, too. See if this is better. Well, let's try this pill. It could be full health. Wow, that was almost exactly the opposite of what I wanted there. How did this go so badly so quickly? I don't want to be on this side. I want to... I'm going to have to use another key to get out of here without picking this stuff up. It's stupid. But I guess we have to do it like this. Please just drop more items. More items need to be dropped by the slot machine right now. Or we are not going to make it out of here alive. We're probably not. Okay, we'll take the pill. The pill is... Oh, come the fuck on! Troll engine is out in force today. Well, I might as well just reroll those bombs then, because I'm not going to get... There we go. And of course now I picked up the other item. Well, I basically have so far traded a heart container for a single red heart. And I'm out of money. Wow. That's abysmal. Well, we'll pick this up. We'll pick up this red heart. We'll go back. We'll get the D20. We'll use the D20. Actually, we don't even need the D20 anymore. Except for future floors, I guess. Because it's probably going to be more beneficial for us than the D6. But what is it... We can reroll our unicorn horn, I forgot. Um, for spider butt, okay. What does it matter though, because we are uh, almost certainly going to lose this run. Pretty insane. I got some good items, like Polyphemus of course is fine. Uh, wait, D20's in here. Polyphemus is fine. Pentagram is good. But, oh right, we can't have spider butt and D20. Duh. Um, let's, let's roll with the D20. I think this is going to allow us to possibly get some pills, which might allow us to secure victory, or at least give us a chance. But, I mean, by and large, this has been a bad run. I mean, the play has been not great, but the just item drops have not been good for me at all. Like, cube of meat, bomb bag. I guess bomb bag's okay. Cube, one cube of meat is garbage, though. Okay, so we got Mask of Infamy to deal with first. This might actually kill me. I might die before the mom boss fight, which is, you know, a point of personal failure for me. Mask of Infamy, total pain in the ass. After you kill the heart. Before you kill the heart, he's not so bad. I can't imagine fighting this boss without a speed upgrade. This is probably going to take us 25 minutes. Okay, finally, here we go. Time to get the show on the road. Come at me, bro. My shots are too fucking slow because of Polyphemus to actually hit reliably. Oh my god. I think I've got the methodology down here. Daddy Longlegs, please hook me up. Well, Poison Touch might actually be a blessing in disguise here. Seriously? I see people on the, the subreddit complaining about Mask of Infamy all the time. Luckily, I think I don't fight him all that often. So I don't have the same kind of ire that a lot of people do. But, yeah, suffice to say, this guy is, uh, you know, he has the propensity to, propensity to be annoying if you don't have piercing shots. My lord. And then, yeah, my gift for all this... We know... Well, hopefully these are good pills. Pff, my god. Can we just catch, like, a single break here? Alright, that's a start, I guess. Health down, cool, yeah. Why not? Uh, I guess we'll go with the range down pill, because that's a little safer. We should just re-roll this one. And we got a key out of it, awesome. So that key is definitely going to save our lives as we fight against Mom here. I'm pretty sure there is a zero chance of my failure. That was very close. I'm, I'm just so, like, disheartened right now. I don't understand. Troll Engine, why are you being so mean to me, man? If we get the 50%, I'll consider this a victory. That might be uh, too much to ask, honestly. Definitely have to stay away from the sides here. There we go. I'd say we're, we're below 50% now on Mom's health. Barely got out of the way. So I'm kind of scared here. Because things are going surprisingly well. But at any moment, you know, a hand could just shoot out from these doors and end my Cinderella run. Daddy Long Legs, save me! No, no! Oh man. I'm so scared, it's, it's the fucking 
enemies that bother me. It's not mom. God damn it. Okay, we're still alive here. Oh my god, we succeeded on the mom boss fight. I did not expect that to happen at all. And of course, our beautiful reward, the Polaroid, and of course, Pageant Boy. The item that everybody... The must-have item for this holiday season. Do I sound disheartened? I feel disheartened. We've had a very rough run. We're making the best of it here, but... Oh my god. Another glitch. Hopefully this is the glitch that gives us epic fetus on every single treasure that we find from here on in. But it appears to just be the glitch that freezes our game. I'll give it some time here. I mean, sometimes this happens and then it just goes into the pink glitch. But... Oh, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go straight for the boss room here. We can only get hit twice. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that we are probably not gonna survive this floor. It's a possibility. I'm not gonna deny that it's, you know, never happened before. Especially, like, th that health is gonna kinda go a long way towards helping me out. However, seriously, game, if you're gonna- oh my god, wasted a key there. If you're gonna buttfuck me, at least use some lube. Yo, the daddy long legs take care of everything. We are going to... I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just providing, like, random commentary at this point to try to take my mind off the fact that we have three hearts going into the womb. And not really all that much damage, and not really all that much health, and not really all that much... Like, we got tears down, we got range down. We're still holding this range down pill, in fact. Like, there's a lot of negatives in our run right now that you can draw attention to. What are the positives? Well, you know, there's always a chance that we can get a beautiful treasure on this floor. It's a small chance. It's a very, very small chance, in fact. Phase on this is perfect. Okay, now we'll just walk this dude on the spikes. Daddy Long Legs is gonna steal my kill, whatever. We're back to full health. And, well, full health is pretty low, but we're back to full health at least. And we are going to possibly re-roll something here. If I could hit this bomb fly. There we go. So, uh, yeah, let's re-roll all this. I would say that is slightly better, especially since we ended up getting the Spirit Heart out of it. And another two keys, which might come in handy on a more golden chest. And we got Conquest. This is not good. Conquest is an absolute pain in the dick. I always wonder where this dude comes back. Okay. You can take three more hits. And we're doing okay. Daddy Long Legs is helping us out a great deal. So we're just gonna stand over here to watch out for those rays of light. Conquest is about halfway down. We could take the White Pony. Is that a smart idea for us? Good question. Come on, Daddy Long Legs. There wasn't even anybody there at that point. Uh, I honestly don't know if, if White Pony is going to be better for us in this situation. I'm going to guess that we're going to probably want to stick with the D20 just because it gives us the chance to possibly replenish our health. Uh, you know, by re-rolling keys or something like that. We wouldn't re-roll keys, probably re-roll bombs. Where are you going, Conquest? There we go. I freed you from your prison. And you return my favor by stabbing me in the back there. Where are you? Oh, fucking god damn it. Stay here. You only gotta hit him like two more times. There we go. We survived and we got an angel room. What do you got for me, angel? The Bible allows me to fly, kills mom instantly. Beautiful item that I absolutely need right now. We're gonna go with the white pony because it gives me the ability to fly, you know, passively. And then we're just gonna head down to the next floor. With pretty much zero chance of success, I would say. So, we can use White Pony on a room like this. I must seriously be not doing enough damage to kill these guys in like three hits. That's crazy. I've got Polyphemus Pentagram. So, grab bombs and keys, move onwards here. I'm guessing that this is the right way, but stranger things have happened, you know? illustrates a supply chain problem that comes up in, in Isaac sometimes. Don't get great items. It means don't get a chance to get deal with the devil items, or at least reduces your chance of getting deal with the devil items, because you have uh, you know, less good items, so you probably take more damage on boss fights. That's Maybe that's just me, though. Who knows? Uh, don't get deal with the devil items. 
continue to not get great items, continue to struggle. And that is the situation that I am in right now. So we got the sun card, that's good. It's definitely better than range down. That's for damn sure. We can come, up here, come in here and play this bad boy one time. Thanks for the penny. That's really going to come in handy moving forward. Pick this up, and I guess we want to move over this way then. Can we beat Mom's Heart? Yes. It's not going to be easy. Uh, I would consider that like an enormous victory if we ended up beating Mom's Heart on this run. I didn't even expect to beat Mom, so to be in this situation is kind of surprising for me. Uh, to be in a situation where we could possibly beat Mom's Heart? Well, I mean, like I said, we're playing Isaac 2011 style. So I guess I would feel okay about that. Not ecstatic, but at least, you know, half decent. So we will destroy this last wrath here. These, this room's taking me a long time, unfortunately. Because apparently, that health meter only corresponds to one of the bosses. More bombs, more keys. The golden chests have been go. Oh, come on. The golden chests have been good to me. Yes, we'll just stay on this lane right here. I can deal with this. Just stay down here, my god. Let me kill you. I try to get far enough away that they just like shoot bombs at me. But for some reason, sometimes they seem to not really like that. That was not good on my part. But hey, we have the sun card that we can use for full health if it's necessary. Daddy Long Legs actually did me a solid there. Please, finally. More bombs, more keys, every single room. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Just gonna watch the oh my god. I'm almost dead. We have to use the sun card. I hate to do it, but we do have to. Uh, and our secret room. Oh, right, it's greed. I can see that on the map. Uh, so we'll just continue moving forwards here. We cannot go to the boss trap room, which might be a blessing in disguise, because I would probably die in it at this point. Daddy Longlegs doing a good job taking out these spider bros for me. More bombs. Up to 32. It's not going to save me. And I'm going to do my best to save White Pony for the Mom's Heart boss fight. I think we should be able to get away with it. If nothing else, it's at least a period of, like, invincibility. There we go. Finally. More keys, more money. Now that I don't need either of them at all. Okay, so here's our boss room. If we get some bomb flies here, we might be able to set off a chain reaction. Or Daddy Long Legs might be able to set off a chain reaction. Either way, is totally fine with me. Here we go. Is this going to work out? Nobody knows. I'm going to guess not, but... You know, stranger things have happened. I did beat Mom without taking any damage. So, we're doing decent damage on each volley here, it seems like. Certainly, uh, I have enough bombs with which to finance this project, if you get what I'm saying here. Daddy Longlegs helping me out as well. Didn't realize that he would respond to the physics like that. Put another bomb down here. Maybe another one here. Zombie time, I think. Oh, we got all three of them. That's actually really good. So, we're just gonna keep this up. We got continuous bombs already? Wow. That's actually really lucky for us. Uh, and if we just don't kill that other nub there, then I think we won't have to deal with the uh, asshole flies that shoot laser bullets, which is fine by me. I would rather do things this way any day of the week. Ah, uh, I think it died. Nope, still alive. Wow, ma uh, amazingly, it has managed to not get hit by a bomb either. So, we'll head up to the cathedral. Against all odds, still ticking here somehow. And we're gonna quickly... Oh, that was not good. We're gonna quickly check for our uh, boss room over here. We can see it on the compass. The only question is where the, the path actually is that will take us there. Awesome! I really needed that seven cents to finance my baseball card collection right now. Uh, just pretty fly. Sure, why not? This doesn't seem to be the right way, so we'll try up, I guess. It could still be down, but I, I guess up is... Wishful thinking on my part. We'll see if maybe we can get lucky there. Just give me a half heart. That's fine. We can leave now. Might as well see what this one pays out. I don't need that scent. You can keep it. We're gonna get to our boss room very quickly. Tammy's head. No. Judgment. Yes. Come on, Judgment. Can we beat Isaac? I'm gonna guess not. Uh, but I guess stranger things have happened. Devil card could come in handy. Mom's purse will not come in handy. So, we're gonna see if this works. 
There's almost no chance of this. The only thing that might give me a chance is the fact that I, um, you know, fire slowly, for one. And B, I have those three, like, halos of flies, cubes of meat circling around me. So it might just be very difficult for Isaac to actually get a hit in. The way he shoots and the frequency that he shoots. So, I mean, there, there's always that good chance for us, but... I mean, we are going to have to hit him like a hundred times and get hit four times. So, I'm not holding my breath on this one. Angel fetuses are going to be a total pain in the ass as well. But hey, there's the first phase of Isaac done. Without any problems. The other thing we have to worry about, yeah, is exactly what happened right there. The curve shot's kind of homing in on us. Uh, but, I think Cuba Meat is going to be able to take care of most of those. Let's try to fire in some bombs here. Do some serious damage for once. So we're almost in uh, third phase of Isaac territory here. If this run... If this run makes it to the chest, that'll be real fucking silly. Now's where we get into some problems. Truth be told, angel fetuses are a total pain in the ass. We're just gonna keep sur- Oh, there we go, we got hit by a ray from heaven. But until then, we were kind of having the, the least satisfying Cinderella run I could possibly imagine. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time when hopefully we'll have some better luck on our side. I mean, I didn't play fantastically, but still, I was like getting dry humped by a sandpaper robot. I don't know where I'm going with these analogies sometimes, but as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.